forget the cost caught by the neighbors. What is up, Matoire family? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matoire and I own a 2017 BMW 340i. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. So this is a much anticipated video. I have a lot of you guys always messaging me on Instagram, asking me what mods I have on my car. So in today's video, I will be going over all the mods that I've done to my 340i, as well as leaving links in the description of where you can pick one up yourself if you would like. And to make it interesting, I also wanted to go over how much each mod cost. So at the end, we can get a grand total of just how much I've spent on my BMW. Now, I did want to give a disclaimer to you guys. Some of these mods I actually got for discounted prices or even for free due to affiliate programs, partnerships, and sponsorships. So the number at the end of this video won't technically be what I spent, but it's going to be a perfect representation if you guys wanted to make your BMW look just like mine, just how much you guys would end up spending. Also, all the prices that I'll be telling you guys is just the base price from the website. This does not include taxes or shipping and handling. So I'll probably do like a rough estimate at the end of how much all of that cost me as well. So with that, let's get right into the list. So I'll actually start on the performance mods first, just because the exterior mod list is so much longer. So the first mod I'm going to talk about is the downpipe. I have a VRSF Catless downpipe. This ran me about $300. It was actually one of the first performance mods that I did to the car when I got it. I just wanted that instant jump and in horsepower that the Catless downpipe gives you over your stock catted downpipe. The downpipe not only makes the car faster, but it makes it sound a little better as well. When I first installed the downpipe on the 340, I still had the muffler, but it did make the exhaust note sound deeper. So if you're looking to add a little power as well as add a deeper tone to your exhaust, get a downpipe. So next we'll be going over the CTS turbo intake. This intake is going to run you about $300. So I got this intake purely for the swoosh noises and the turbo noises that you get when you're on a gas pedal. There's really nothing wrong with the stock air box and this CTS turbo actually does throw a check engine light sometime. The stock intake is more than enough for the 340. But like I said, me personally, I just wanted those turbo noises to sound a little louder. So that's the only reason why I got it. So next I'll be talking about my high pressure fuel pump upgrade. So it was an upgrade for my car, but it's not an aftermarket high pressure fuel pump. And let me explain. So a quick rundown, there's a Gen 1 B58, which is in my 340i and there's a Gen 2, which is in the new Supras. The Gen 2 B58 comes with a high pressure fuel pump called the TU pump and it just performs a little better than the generation one. Since my car came stock with the gen one high pressure fuel pump, I upgraded to the gen two so I could run ethanol blends uh, more efficiently. Since the gen one high pressure fuel pump isn't that efficient with running ethanol blends. Now, since it's not an aftermarket part and it's a stock part from the gen two B58, you'll probably have to get it used. I personally found mine on Facebook Marketplace and picked it up for about 400 bucks. I've seen them as low as 300 ranging all the way to like 600. So just make sure you're getting a good deal if you are trying to get one it is a great inexpensive alternative than getting like an actual aftermarket high pressure fuel pump such as the Dorch stage one high pressure fuel pump they're over a thousand dollars so if you're not looking to spend that kind of money then the tu pump is definitely the way to go and i really only have one more mod that i've done as far as performance the b58 doesn't really require that much to make power but it's going to be the boot mode tune so currently on boot mode's website they're charging 595 dollars i'm pretty sure that's what i paid for mine as well but that is just for one map. So when you're buying the tune, they'll allow you to flash one of their off the shelf maps. And it pretty much locks everything else once you flash that tune. But if you pay an additional $50, which I ended up doing, it unlocks all the maps and you can switch back and forth from tunes as much as you'd like. Now, luckily I had my 428i before my 340i. And when you buy boot mode, they allow you to transfer the license one time. So technically on my 340i, I didn't have to pay for boot mode since I transferred it from my 428i. But for the purposes of this video, we're gonna go ahead and add $645 to the total. So jumping to the aesthetics of the vehicle, we're gonna start off with my diffusers. So if you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know that I just recently got an upgraded AA Concepts diffuser. This diffuser is not cheap at all. It's going to run you about 700 
$340. Yes, it is a lot of money for a diffuser, but not a lot of F30s have it. Kind of wanted to set my F30 apart from others. But before the AA Concepts diffuser, I had just a regular carbon fiber diffuser, which ran me about 276. That one's currently just sitting in my garage right now. I still have to sell it, but I did buy both of them for the F30. So I figured I'd add it to the list as well. Next up on the list, we have the GTS style hood. This is probably my favorite mod to date. I got this from Souvenir on their website. It used to be $899 for the aluminum hood, which is the one that I have, but they just recently marked it down to $798. So if you guys are looking for an aluminum GTS style hood, you might want to head over to Souvenir and buy one while they're on sale. It makes the front end of the car look a lot more aggressive as well. And honestly, I just love everything about the hood. But in addition to buying the hood, it comes unpainted. So you have to get it painted if that's the look that you're going for. And in my case, the body shop charged about $300 to paint match the hood. Now, depending on your area, and the body shop that you choose it could be more it could be less but 300 was the best deal that I found here in Vegas so that's what I went with next we have the paint matched reflectors that I installed very subtle mod but I think it makes a big difference these are me about $75 and I believe I got them from ECS tuning you know I really don't like seeing the orange reflector you know, when I'm taking pictures or just looking at the car I think it's well worth the money up next, we have the PSM Style High Kick Spoiler. 100% real carbon fiber. I ended up getting this one from eBay, ran me about $200. This is another mod that I did like in the early stages of the 340. I think it looks really good, it's aggressive, and it makes the rear end of the car just look that much better in my opinion. Up next, we have another double purchase of pretty much the same mod. And for those of you that have been following me, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. Yes, the carbon fiber front lip. So the first front lip that I had ran me about $320, and it was the Veris Style. The one that kind of sits below your bumper looks very aggressive. I really enjoyed having that front lip on there. It sits a lot lower than the current lip I'm running. And with that being said, I did end up hitting the lip on a curb and it cracked and it just did not look good at all. It wasn't repairable. So I ended up buying a second carbon fiber front lip, but got a great deal on it. I only spent $200 on the second one. Now the lip is from AA Concepts, but I did not buy it from AA Concepts. I ended up getting it through a private seller. He had wrecked his BMW, but the front lip was in great shape still. So he ended up selling it on Facebook Marketplace for $200 and I picked it up from him. So I ended up getting a great deal on the second lip. So this next mod I probably should have talked about during the performance mods but it's not really performance and that's the muffler delete so the shop that i went to ended up charging me about 280 dollars for the muffler delete what they did was just chop off the muffler and then ran some custom pipes to just kind of make everything fit and then welded it up real nice um, it sounds really good and i'll go ahead and try to leave some exhaust clips for you guys right now As you guys just heard, the muffler delete paired with the catalyst downpipe. Sounds really good in my opinion. I do plan on getting a full exhaust in the future, but it's just not really high on my priorities right now since the car already sounds great. So next we have the GTS style tail lights. These ran me about $500 from Alibaba. I don't know how you say it, but pretty much China. The tail lights look super good. I love the startup animation you get when you unlock the car or start the car. They're different than the LCI tail lights or the pre-LCI tail lights. Don't get me wrong, I do love my LCI tail lights. That's why I kept them and never sold them because I might switch back to them one day, who knows. But the GTS style tail lights were just you know, new at the time and they look really good to me. If a lot of people start putting them on their F30s, I might go back to the LCI. So up next, very inexpensive mod. I'm talking about the little triangle vinyl overlays that you can put on your BMW roundels. Very subtle mod, but in my opinion, makes it look great. Yes, to have the white and blue roundel is like the OG OEM look. But if that's something that you're not looking for, if you want your roundel to be black or pink or match your car, whatever the case is, you can buy vinyl to put over the roundel and make it whatever color you want. I think it's nice if you're personalizing your car and you want your roundel a certain color. So next mod is gonna be the painted calipers. Now, obviously I didn't buy my calipers. I painted them myself to account for all the paint and materials that I needed. They ran me about 50 bucks. I chose to do white calipers because not a lot of people are doing it. And I think it looks super good considering my car is white as well. If you're planning on doing this mod, just make sure you're getting high temperature spray paint. They sell a lot of different colors in the high temperature spray paint. So you can pretty much get whatever color you want. While we're already in that area of the vehicle, we might as well talk about the wheels next. So I'm currently running some Odd Hans AF F7s. I'm running an 18 by 8.5 in the front and an 18 by 9.5 in the rear. I got some Nanking tires just to throw some tires on the wheels when I first bought them. I just really wanted to get the wheels on my car. Honestly, they're not a bad tire, but they're not a great tire. But with that being said, for the tire and wheel combo together, it only cost me $14.40. Now, I did get them during a Black Friday sale from Fitment Industries. So if you try to pick some up for yourself now, they probably won't be as cheap, but they are great wheels. I think they look super good. 
I get a lot of compliments on my wheels. I love the bronze on the white, but like I said, we're definitely gonna have to end up upgrading those tires. So next we'll be talking about the H&R Super Sport lowering springs. These ran me about $225. I do believe if you just go with the H&R Sport springs, it is a little less than the Super Sport. And the only difference is that the Super Sport drops you about half an inch more, I wanna say. But I definitely do recommend lowering your vehicle. Not only does it make it handle better, it makes it look a lot better as well. Now I did wanna include the light smoked tail light tint that I got from Amazon. My current GTS style tail lights already came smoked from factory, but on my old LCI tail lights before I got the GTS style ones, I did end up wrapping them. And that wrap did cost me about $19, so I did want to include that. Next, I wanted to talk about the stud conversion kit that I got from Keys Motorsports. This ran me about $134 with the nuts that I chose. They have different colors and different option of nuts that you can choose for the studs. For those of you that don't know, BMWs don't come with any studs coming out of the wheel hub. This makes changing your wheels very difficult. Uh, you only have about two inches to work with when you're putting the wheel on that hub and it's super annoying, but the studs eliminates that. It makes it a lot easier to change your wheels because you simply just put the wheel on the studs and slide it all the way back to the hub, which makes your life 10 times easier. All right, so next we have the carbon fiber shark fin on the top of the BMW. Now people call it the shark fin, but it is your antenna for your radio. I have heard people that put on the carbon fiber cover do have some signal issues sometimes when it comes to their radio. I personally have never experienced that because I don't listen to the radio. I just listen to my music from my phone and this ran me about $56. So next, we'll We'll be talking about the integrated turn signals that I also got from Amazon. It's a nice little touch to the car that comes smoked out and when you're using your turn signals or your hazards, it kind of has this nice sequential effect and it looks really good, way better than the OEM. Now when I bought these turn signals, they were right at $99, but since then Amazon has lowered them to $59, so I think that's a great deal if you're looking for some sequential turn signals to put on your mirror caps. Next I did want to talk about my gloss black kidney grills. From the factory, the kidney grills have this outline of chrome that I'm just not a fan of and they're single slotted but you can buy some double slotted gloss black kidney grills on Amazon for only $40. Next we'll talk about the carbon fiber eyelids that you put on the headlights and it's just this very very thin piece of carbon fiber that you pretty much just stick on to the top of your headlight with some 3M tape but these ran me about $30 on Amazon as well. Now the next mod obviously I have to include the window tint. When I first got the car it was a fishbowl and the window tint is probably one of the first mods I did along with the spoiler and it's ran me about $225. Once again, depending on your area and the shop that you choose, it could be more, could be less. I think that just about wraps it up for the exterior mod. So now we're gonna hop into the interior. Up first, we have the Apple CarPlay unit, which cost me about $340. I got this unit from waka.com. Now I get a lot of questions on this unit all the time, pretty much because it's the budget friendly version of like an actual Apple CarPlay unit. For what you need it for is works pretty well. I made a video on it of the things that I don't like about it as well as the things that I do like about it. Yes, it's not perfect and I'm sure it's not as perfect as the more expensive ones would be. At the end of the day, you get what you pay for. And in my opinion, for the price, it is well worth it. So also on the interior, I did end up wrapping all of the trim pieces in carbon fiber wrap. I got the carbon fiber wrap for about 20 bucks on Amazon. It's not the best looking carbon fiber wrap in the world, but I do think it's a lot better than the silver that was in there before. Next, we'll talk about the Renline phone mount. Now this cost me about $45. To be honest, ever since I got the Apple CarPlay unit, I rarely use the phone mount anymore. But for those of you that like to have your phone up in your vehicle, this is a great mount for that. So if you guys are looking for a good phone mount that's out of the way and not blocking your AC vents, this is a great option for you. And lastly, we have the Me Want steering wheel cover that was sent out to me not too long ago. Yes, I got this steering wheel for free, but if you would like to pick one up for yourself, they will run you about $65, I believe. Yes, it is a steering wheel cover. So you will have to stitch it on there yourself and it can be very tedious. But at the end, it ends up looking really good. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to kind of transform your steering wheel, this is a great option because if you guys don't know, custom steering wheels are very expensive, upwards of $1,000. So this is a great option if you're kind of on a budget and you just wanna kind of change the look of your steering wheel. So that just about wraps up all of my mods for my BMW 340i. So hopefully I didn't miss anything, but I'm sure if I did, y'all will let me know. As mentioned before, all these prices don't include shipping and handling or tax. So just a rough estimate, I'll probably add about $400 for shipping. So with all of that, I've spent a grand total of 
drum roll please eight thousand one hundred and sixty eight dollars now realistically it's a little more than that because heavy items do cost a lot to ship but overall as a baseline that is how much i have spent on my 340i so far so that is a lot of money but i do not regret one thing i think the f30 is coming along great and it's kind of scary to say out loud but i'm not even done with it yet so i will end up spending more money on it in the future so if you guys wanted your 340i to look just like mine you would end up spending $8,168 plus shipping and handling. I hope this video was very informative and helped you guys out. As mentioned before, I will include a link to all the mods that I listed in this video down below in the description. But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you guys have any questions on any of the mods, installs, or anything BMW related, you can always hit me up on my Instagram at Matwire. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, remember your goals and don't stop till you reach them. Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, she'll probably get a name change. People changing on me like they gained weight. I wish that I would.